Not everyone that laugh or smile with you is your friend. Sometimes the enemy can be more closer than you think. Welcome to I of Ancestors Kingdom. It's me, your queen, and I are Sankofa in your area. Family, how are you doing? I hope all is well with you on your spiritual journey and also with your family. Welcome to I of Ancestors Kingdom. So today, um, we are going to talk about spirituality, the chosen ones, and friendship and friends. People have been contacting me and be asking me, Nana, um, how is it actually with you? Do you also have friends? And um, some of them have been having problems with friendships, with friends since their journey started. Family, what I can tell you today, that from the moment your journey starts as a chosen one, on your spiritual awakening journey, on your journey to self, it is a journey between you and you and your spirits, your deities and your ancestors. When you have a calling, don't forget, it was not a public calling. It was not a conference call. It is all about you. I'm not saying it's not good to have friends. It's good to have friends, but you need to choose carefully. I know everyone or everybody have a story to tell when it comes to friendship. As a chosen one, when your journey starts, you need to know that not everybody is going to understand you. The life that you were living before, you cannot keep on with that life. Maybe you are someone who had a lot of friends, you used to uh, go clubbing, go out every weekend, meet, let's say, every day after work, sit somewhere and have some drinks unnecessary conversation, going to concerts and all those things. When you start as a chosen one or someone with a calling, you can't keep on with that life. That is why people sometimes say that the journey is, some, uh, is somehow lonely. It's not lonely, but it's just like your, your energy have changed, your vibration have changed. You are vibrating on a totally different level than the people that you were, that it is no more on the same level. It's no more the same. Those friends will not understand you. You can try to explain yourself. You go explain yourself tired. No one is going to understand you because it is your journey and you are called on that journey. The isolation that you call loneliness, it has to be there so that you can really take that journey to self. Because when you are always around those people that you call friends, um, there are going to be a lot of interactions. They are going to invite you to parties. They would like to come by like how they used to do maybe those days every day. They used to come to your house so that you people cook together to eat, maybe to watch films, to gossip around and all those things you don't need it anymore on your journey people need to see that there are changes in your life as a chosen one things have changed so you can't keep those friends whether you like or not it's not even only let's say friends even relationships are going to fall down and they will go on their own maybe you will try everything to keep them Sometimes you will see the difference that it doesn't fit. But still you want to fit in their world. And you cannot keep on like that because you are not created to fit in anybody's world. You are, you are created to create a new world. So when it comes to friendship, another thing that I want you to understand as a chosen one. That sometimes the enemy is more closer than you think. You being a chosen one or a spiritual gifted person or someone with a calling, when you are around people who are not on the same path like you, sometimes jealousy begins to arise. Because starting your spiritual journey, you like to talk to people. You are so excited, things that you see, things that you learn. And the more you talk, people start to be angry about you. Who does she think he is? she is? Who does he think he is? Does she want to tell us that she's now special than us or what? 
maybe if they will call you uh, can we go out today no um i cannot come out because today um i need to go to the river or maybe i need to go to the forest to go and do one thing or maybe i want to stay home to meditate you know so when you keep on t uh, telling them one two three then the envious the jealousy will start now when you have time sometimes and you go meet them because they used to talk about you when you see them you see their facial as, uh, expression will change the way they used to look at you the way they used to talk about you when you are not there so when they see you and you being a spiritual gifted person you will feel it that oh something has shifted there is something wrong here you know so now the talking will start the talking will start going around now she thinks she's something better she says she have a calling he think he's something better he said he have a calling you know not that you are doing anything for to let anybody feel bad, but that is how they feel because really things are changed. Things, things are no more the way it is. And then we have this set of uh, this set of friends too that from the moment they see that you are blessed on your journey, your ancestors are blessing you. The universe is blessing you. They don't like to see that because once you were the person who always come to them to come and borrow. Oh, can you borrow me this? Oh, can you borrow me that? And now you are not coming anymore. You ask yourself. And these are the same people when you are in need, when you go to them. Or maybe um, sometimes they will tell you that, oh, I'm praying for you, that God will bless you. Then why are you not happy for me when the soul God, God is now blessing me that I don't need to come and borrow? Why are you not happy for me that now I'm driving a car? Why are you not happy for me that now I've built my house? So all this while that you were telling me that, oh, God bless you and I wish you well and all that. No, you were not for my progress. You were just in my life, sticking around me, seeing to it that always I'm down and you are up and that I may I can always come to you and come and be borrowing and come and be begging you and come and be crying in your ears how hard life is. Those are friends, people that sometimes we call friends. So you need to be careful. Opening up your secret to people. I know sometimes we, had, we, we need people to talk to. You need someone to just share some issues, so some of your problem with and all, and all that. Along the years for me, I have learned. I have learned a lot because the same person that you are telling your problem is the same person who will go, did you hear this? Oh, you will not believe. Upon everything that she's doing, upon all her spirituality, the other time she came to me that I should borrow her money. Upon all the spirituality that he's doing, do you know that he went to so, so and so to go and beg for food? And that is all those things you need to think about. Not everyone wish you well. That is another thing. Another thing that I want you to think about is don't allow any cock and bull into your space. For me, I'm very choosy. It's not everyone, I, everybody I allow into my house. There are sometimes some people will come here, I will not let you in. When my spirit says I should not let you in, I will not let you in. Because there are some people, family, since they were born from day one up to now, they have never cleansed themselves. So imagine the package of, of that dark energy that they are carrying around themselves all over the place. That is why I always tell the chosen ones, it's very important for you, anywhere that you go, when you go out, when you come in, Learn to cleanse yourself. Always try to have some sea salt with you. Try to have um, some Palo Santo. Try to have some Florida water. Very easy. I always have it in my handbag. You pour some. You just pray. You just rub it. And then you just cleanse yourself. It will not, it will not take long. And when you come home, bath water cleanses too bath anywhere that you go when you come spend some time shower take your shower take your bath it's very important because we come across a lot of funny funny people each and every day
And as a chosen one, as someone who's calling, you need to take care of your space. You need to take care of your energy. Have you experienced this before that um, you have a friend or you had a friend? You people went through a lot of things, uh, through poverty, through a lot of hardship. But from the moment a door is opened for you, that person will just stop talking to you. And now start talking about you to other people. Have you got that experience before? I've got that experience before. Then you ask yourself all this while. So you were around me. You never wished me well. Actually, now that things are getting better for me. This is the time that you're supposed to be happy for me. This is the time that we're supposed to really vibe together. But it's not happening. You need to choose your friends very carefully. I know a lot of people, but at the end of the day, I am my best friend. My spirits are my best friend. I can laugh with, I laugh with people. I meet people. We are all here helping each other on this journey. But that doesn't mean that I have to break my boundaries for other people to be happy. Boundaries are very important. Let your friends know their limits. Let your family know their limits. I don't know sometimes why it's so hard for children to tell their parents they are about their boundaries. They are afraid. They are ashamed. <gasps> my mother will kill me. My father will kill me. No, I cannot set boundaries because he's my father, he's my mother. You need to, when you are on this journey, when you are just a normal person who came on planet Earth just to have fun, just to um, have holidays, you came on planet Earth for holidays, then live your life anyhow. But when you have a calling, you are a chosen one. You are on this spiritual journey. Then anyone, everybody, even animals, they have to know your boundaries. Otherwise, people will be crossing the border anyhow that they want. And that is where it's that the people are going through depression, going through anxieties, sadness, regrets, sorrows. And you don't need it on your journey. You are going through enough. So everything is up to you. When you, didn't, when you don't set boundaries, people will overdo things. And it will not help you on your journey. So we are still talking about the chosen ones and friendship. You need to discern. The evil ones can come into your life Pretending to be friends, just to know, oh, I have come across a lot of people on my journey. There are people who came as monetary spirits, just to come and know what you are doing. Just to come and know your next step. Just to come and know where you are getting your powers. And for me, I will let you know. Sometimes I know that this person is my enemy, but when I'm going to the riverside, I'll tell you, oh yeah, come, follow me. I will bring you to my mother. And I'm going to bless you there. When I'm feeding my ancestors and you are my enemy and you are there, and I know that you are there, I will tell you, come. Once I feed my ancestors, I will give you some of the food to eat. Go with your curses. Because that is what they want to see. I don't hide my powers. I am what I am. And I am who I am. As far that you know that you don't plan evil or you don't think evil against anyone. Be a free spirit. Do your thing. As they come, so they will surely go. But still, you need to be choosy as a chosen one. You need to be careful. 
with friends that you mingle with, people that you allow in your space. I had a conversation with someone who was telling me also about this friendship thing that uh, once a friend uh, came to visit her and left something at, at a uh, bathroom, you know, some funny thing tied in one red something, just hide it in her bathroom. For what? And there's a person that you call friend because you allow that person into your house. So people never forget one thing too. When you have visitors, when people come visit you in your house, when they leave, don't forget to cleanse your space. It's very important because people will come and visit you. They are going to leave some funny energies behind. And I'm that person so sensitive. There are some people who come and visit me when they leave. I cannot sleep at night. I need to burn Frank incense, go through the whole house. Or burn sage, go through the whole house. Some people will come to you, they'll be smiling with you, they'll be laughing with you, but deep inside. And many times I used to see them. Sometimes someone will come and visit me, we'll be sitting there, we'll be talking. A so-called friend, you know, we'll be talking, we'll be chatting. And I'll look. I will look one time, their face will look like a masquerade, a very horrible masquerade. I will just shock. The person will ask me, oh, Nana, is everything okay? I'll be like, yeah, yeah, everything is okay. That is a warning. I will take that one. Or sometimes you'll just be chatting with a friend, you know. They'll be like, oh, I went to this place. Let, you, let me send you a, a picture, you know. They will just send you that, they will send you that picture. It happened to me several times. I would just look at that picture. This is the person that I know, but that face now will just change. And everything that you see, don't just call it a coincidence. As a chosen one, as someone of a calling, whenever maybe you are talking with someone, you start seeing uh, uh, synchronicities, you start seeing some numbers or some music, you know, you'll be listening to the words and it, start, it, it hits you. Or as a, at, at, at a uh, uh, certain time, you'll be seeing the same numbers all over again or whatever. Take it serious. We need to be alert. Because warnings come in a lot of ways. Our spirits talk with us in a lot of ways. That's why we need to pay attention. For me, whether I'm at home, whether I'm driving on the street, whether I'm at work, I am always attention. I'm, I'm always alert, ready to hear from my spirits. So you need to be careful the people that you mingle with. You may want the best for them, but they want your downfall that they don't even care. They don't give a damn about your spirits and you are a chosen one and you have a calling or what, what else, whatever. A lot of people who have died, have lost their life by such mistakes. There are people who always want to see you down. They don't want you to become someone in your life. They don't want you to make it in life. They always want to see you begging. They always want to see you crying. These are people. And when... when Blessings fall on you. They are the first people to say, ah, you know she's in that spirituality of a thing. You know he's doing this spirituality. I think he did some rituals, you know, some money ritual, blood rituals. Maybe he killed someone or so and so. These are the people who start spreading the news. But then they will come close to you and they will pretend. All that is energy draining. So it is not always do this ritual and this, do this ritual and this. I, I always say that we have a common sense. We have brains. So you need to be alert. Just sprinkling some Florida water is not enough. You need to be alert. You need to be careful. Don't let anyone just step into your space and come and cause confusion, come and sabotage you on your journey. 
So I'll stop here by saying much love from me, Nanaya Sankofa. This is the part one. There's surely going to be a part two. Bless you.